<laughs> so like what like what is the cookies and cakes work environment like because you know there's not too many stores where you see like a very predominant following on tiktok or, or on anything really you know like there's a few yeah. um I, I guess that's more like a fairfax uh thing. Thing, yeah. but also like like what is that work environment like because you've gone from being you know just someone who works at a store to then being like the like social media person yeah i mean so i worked at rip and dip and rip and dip was oh, also yeah, one yeah. of those places where Social media was a big thing because they'd get celebrities coming in. They'd have, they had an ice cream truck. Danny they had Duncan. A, yeah, yeah, Danny yeah, yeah, Duncan. Yeah. Like a lot of really cool things. So they were doing really well on TikTok. And then, uh, not on TikTok, on social media. And then I started working at Cookies and Kicks. And like, it was kind of something that we wanted to get into. And like, I want you guys to know, like when we opened the business, it was the five bosses and they were all like, oldest was 23 years old. Okay, wow. So like, we were all young and like all the employees were obviously younger than the bosses. Mm -hmm. So we're all working together, trying to figure out how to make this shit work. Mm -hmm. And like a year went by and like, it was kind of steady. It was just a regular store. And we like really went ham on social media yeah, year yeah. after that. And like, we had so many influencers coming in celebrities like this, that, and I don't know like really why it started that way. I just think because everyone was so young and we're all already so involved in social media that like, I thought, what better way to get this promoted than to start on social yeah. media? So before, I want to hear some like stories about like celebrities coming in. Mm -hmm. But like, I think for most most of the audience, like for us, before we moved down to LA, I didn't fully understand what Fairfax was. I've heard about it. Mm. It's a weird place. Like, how do you weird. describe what Fairfax is? Yeah. So I've been working on Melrose and Fairfax area for four years now. So okay. I worked at a sneaker cleaning store, which was the weirdest thing. I don't know why they got broken in so often. Like there <laughs> was often? nothing. All the time. And there was nothing in the front of the store because everything would happen in the back. Yeah, yeah. It would just happen too many times. It happened maybe four times and then he shut it down. And I started working at Rip and Dip. And that was a whole, like, movie of its own. Like, the people that would walk around those streets are characters. Yeah, I yeah. swear, you could... S I would totally just take a day off work just to sit on Melrose and look at the people who walk by because mm -hmm. it's... They're just characters and a half. It's crazy. Um, and then... I mean, Fair Fairfax was cool because it was more culture, more skate, mm -hmm. more like of what it was originally, like Diamond and Rip and Dip and um, Huff and whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then Melrose is more of the sneaker side of the culture. Okay. So, I mean, it's it, they're all very different areas, but um, Melrose is definitely like the craziest. Yeah, that's where they have like Supreme and stuff like that. Right? They have the pretty much Supreme's all on Fairfax, okay. but all of the sneaker stores or like the main ones are on. Yeah, um, yeah. Melrose. It's kind of like the place where people go in with like not a ton of money, but they'll spend all that money mm -hmm. there, right? Oh, EDD season was insane. Really? How? When people had the EDD cards after COVID, Wait, oh, it was the unemployment the cards. So they just spend it all oh, on All their oh. money. And we had like, that was like scam season. Like we had people, I and the most, <laughs> it's crazy. The thing that people bought most was V-Loan. So sorry, what's V loan? V loan is. So I don't know as much. As, I'm fuck you, Chris. I'm sorry. <laughs> you oh, wanna man. give him some culture? Uh, you ever seen? Okay, put it. You, you ever seen, seen anybody it? in our house with a big, large orange V on their back? Yeah, like, that's V loan. That's V loan. Okay. Okay. It's just a brand. It's ASAP yeah, Bari's uh, clothing company. Okay, I get what you mean. Yeah. So he gets it. He yeah. gets it now. Yeah, I'm very culturally done. That's great because like a lot of people during the um the stimmies like or before that. Would Chrome fake, and um, would fake so employment and then get like what a thousand so five hundred dollars and then spend it on shoes. I got four grand. Bro, they're I, gonna I, get taxed was, up the ass. They are yeah. gonna be taxed. It's gonna yeah. be crazy. Trust. I had friends that had to move back because they got caught like lying about it, and they have to like work all day to make that money back and pay it back because they spend it all. Damn. Okay. That's but nuts. so, but, but so you're saying so like what is the you know kind of what's like the whole like Melrose culture like the Fairfax culture like what is, like what do you like. Like, you know, it's it's crazy to someone that, that has never yeah. been there before. Yeah. It, you have to, like, come and, like, come prepared a little bit. Because, like, first, literally the other day, I was walking from my car to the store. And this big group of people, like, they looked so excited to shop around in Melrose. They all had bags. They're about across the street. And literally some bum on the other side was like yelling, like punching the air, causing a whole scene. And they literally started and then turned around. And I was on the phone with my friend. I just couldn't stop laughing because it was just so funny. Like they were ready to go. Like they were marching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably to House of Intuition or some shit because like, you know, crystals. But they literally 
just turned around. It was crazy. Because once you live there, you're not used to it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely where not. you work is like more of like a tourist attraction now. I feel like <laughs> yeah. everyone that comes to oh, California yeah, yeah. that hasn't been to California needs to go to like Melrose or Fairfax mm-hmm. or LA, I should say. Yeah. What What's some of the craziest things you've seen like while like being on the street out there? Oh, uh, this was actually a really crazy night. It's one of my favorite stories. We we're helping offset at the store. Okay. And it was at night after we closed. Like we were just helping him out. And he's, you know, very to himself, but like we have to do what we have to do, whatever. We're on our phones and I look at my phone and we get a text in a group chat, like the team group chat. Yeah. And I open it and it was like car drove into cool kicks. <laughs> like a car literally drove into cool kicks while they were open and everything. And like we watched the video and this car literally turns around and drives straight into the store, like on purpose. And meantime, like some bum is yelling across the street, you know, as usual, like we're not really paying attention to him. But then he's like pointing to the store, like we're all facing it. And like he's pointing to the store and yelling some shit at us. We don't know what he's saying. Okay. And like Offset's ready to go, whatever. We walk him to his car and like this guy starts to walk closer to us. And he's like, they pay me to hit cool kicks. You're next. Like, watch out. I'm telling you to get out of the way. They paid me. Like, I'm going to hit you guys next. Like, you guys are next. This and that. Like, threatening us. That he's going to drive his car into the store. So we're all like, yo, what the fuck? We called the cops. Yeah. All of us walked out of the store. We have, like, these bars that come out of the wall yeah. to hold the clothes. And we all walked out with a bar each. Like, every single one of us. What? And um, turns out he stole his Uber's car. Oh. And someone paid him like two thousand dollars to run into, like, drive into Cool Kicks. Why? I honestly like I couldn't tell you. Like, what valid reason <laughs> would you have to do such a thing? That's yeah. horrible. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> what for? Like, imagine those roads are like pretty narrow. We've been on those roads; they're pretty narrow. You have to go a pretty ninety degree angle to just no, run into the store. No, he was ready to go. Holy shit! It was it crazy. Was, I was wish cook- I'll probably find the video. Cookies but. and Kicks paid paid him to. to